This, tu this Gutenberg tutorial is all about adding text on top of images. If you did the template tutorial that I'll leave in the video description, you see our about page has one of these right at the top. When we do the list view, we can see that this block is called the cover block and within that there's the heading block. So what we want is the cover block and we can see the settings over here. You can actually do a focal point over here and fix the background completely up to you. If we did it from scratch, we will add the cover block, hit the media, select the image, and it puts in a paragraph block right uh, as default. You can change that to the header and you know, take a look at the settings that you can adjust. And you can do multiple blocks within here, so you can add more. You can also group them or add a, a set of columns to it. So now I have two more columns. And if I did like a group within here, and I chose a background color, You know, some more headers. Here's the color. And then over here, we could do another cover, you know, and um, do another media. So, yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot you can do with the cover block. Um, Take a look if you go back to the cover settings at the cover block level. You can adjust the content position. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And make that content at the top. Shift it over. Put it in the middle. You can also do the full height of the image. Toggle the image height. Then you can add a filter to the image as well. And then over here on the side, you got the overlay and you can adjust the opacity of. But yeah, that's kind of the basics of adding text on top of images with Gutenberg. The images from Placeit and they have a lot of nice design, uh, a lot of nice designs. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description, but um, thanks a lot for uh, checking this out and uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks.